Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm. Me, I'm all right. Doing pretty good actually. Um, went up and got my mail for the last time and uh, I had placed an order on uh, getting a, uh, a DeWalt cordless pressure washer. Well it came in and I thought I might show it to you guys. I think it'd be a great way of keeping uh, my motorcycles and the tracker and everything clean while at camp. So uh, I'm going to open it up. Let's take a look at it and see what we got. Went and picked it up on Killer Mo. I hear the babies barking at me. They're mad that none of them got to ride with me. But here's the here's the box. And there are other companies that make something similar. I think this is the most most powerful 550 gallons, 550 pounds at one gallon per minute. And uh, works off the 20 volt lithium. DeWalt batteries and everything I've got all I've got the saw and the drill and all that good stuff so I'm kind of staying with DeWalt uh, the only thing I've got that I'm not completely satisfied I've got a DeWalt chainsaw and it leaks bar oil but it works good so let me go get my pocket knife let's tear into this thing still getting red here uh, ready to uh, pull behind Lady Bigfoot uh, got a guy here at camp that's uh well he's handier than a pocket on a shirt and uh he's also the same guy that welded this motorcycle rack for me back here so kind of show you what we got going on he's had a heck of a time with these uh well basically with these tail lights right here i believe he put on a converter and he's putting on diodes back here on the back of red so I can use the original tail lights but it has given him fits he's been on it for several days but uh, he'll have it he'll have it knocked out soon I took my hat off to put on my, my helmet I think I left it inside let's uh, let me get that and get these babies out hey Hi. babies Tucker yeah man I see wet footprints on the floor. There is water all over the floor in here. What have y'all done? Dumb, dumb Tucker stepped in the water bowl, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it was Tucker. Oh, goodness. Do y'all want to know? Uh, not really. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Tuck. Well, I needed to mop the floor anyway, I guess. Obviously. Doggone it. Found my hat. I'll clean up the mess in a little while. Yep, I'll get that floor. I don't know about you guys, but I like um, the day of... Tucker, did I tell you to go out? No, man. We'll get in there. You run a tight ship and stuff. I do. Now I'll leave. Come on. Daddy, you, you got to help me. You know that. I know that. You're the one that's wet. Did you step in the water? It was me. All right, all right. Got my, my trusty, rusty pocket knife. Let me dig into this thing, be right back. So I'm over here at my friend uh, David uh, Gone Boondockings trailer. He said I could use this table. So uh, I'll open it up here and see what we have instead of trying to do it on the back of the KLR Killer Mo. So um, I've always had good uh, luck with DeWalt tools. I like them. Decided that was the brand I was going to go with. They make good tools, but their batteries are their batteries leave a lot to uh, be desired. Now this doesn't come with a battery or a battery charger. So says the box, but um, I've got some aftermarket batteries that I bought on eBay, two of them for 50 bucks. 
and they work great. That's an odd looking thing. So the lamps goes in here like so and you push and you twist. So now I've got the, the lamps attached, got the box thrown away. So you've got a, uh, a soap injection bottle, a soap bottle. I heard that these aren't very good. People are getting a, another type off of Amazon, eBay, and it works better. Don't know, hadn't used it. And this hose attaches to the bottom of the pressure washer here, pressure cleaner here, and you can dip, you can dip. You can put this in, the, in a five gallon bucket and draw your water from a five gallon bucket so that you, you don't need a, a water hose or water spigot to use this, which makes it very handy because, well, as you know, I live in an RV and I don't have one. Got a bag of tips here. Let's see, let me get into that and see what we got. Got different degree tips here. Some are more aggressive than others. Some have more water flow than others. And a turbo. A turbo really makes pressure cleaner more efficient. Can't use it on all surfaces, but uh, I'd be interested to see how interested to see how that works. I believe on the top of this thing here. Yep, I have a place to put those tips. So people that's been uh, watching me for a long time may have heard me mention that before YouTube, uh, that's how I made my living. I pressure cleaned buildings, schools, banks, churches, did a lot of homes, driveways, runways, sidewalks, you name it. For, uh, I'm gonna I always tell everybody 30 years, but really, truly, it's a little over 27 years that I did that full time. And I'm not saying I know, I know everything about pressure cleaning. I don't. Everybody has a special niche that does pressure cleaning. Some people wash trucks. Some people wash uh, restaurant equipment, vent hoods and stuff. Some people do buildings. And they all kind of overlap each other a little bit. So uh, I'm not an expert, but may maybe I am. I've done it a few times. So I'm really, I, I know this is not going to be a lot of pressure, but here's the thing. When I pressure cleaned, I cleaned the roofs as well. I got big buildings prepared for painting and stuff, got all the oxidized paint and loose paint off. But there are a lot of things that you pressure clean that doesn't require a lot of pressure. Uh, you just gotta get the chemical up, let the chemical do the work and be able to rinse it off. So, uh, but I think to wash an RV or motorcycle might be what we need. I just so happen that I keep a uh, five, if you see there five gallon or six gallon, seven gallon uh, tote full of water uh, for emergencies. This water is probably three to six months old. It should be fine. Um, so that's what I'm gonna drop this uh, strainer into. One thing you have to remember is that when you, when you clean, the surface you're cleaning, uh, it can't be cleaner than the water you clean it with. That makes sense? So if you got something that's got a lot of uh, minerals and stuff in it, then uh, all that stuff's gonna show up on your windows and painted areas, dark painted areas gonna show up really bad. So I don't remember how clean this water was, if it had a lot of minerals in it or not. I can't remember where I got it from. Here's the batteries that I have. I have two of each. These are the DeWalt batteries that came with my drill. I think they're only like two amp hours. Uh, hardly run a saw with them. They are pitiful, pitiful batteries. But uh, fortunately I found these uh, lithium ions on eBay and I got two of them for 50 bucks and these are six amp hours. And I've been able to run my chainsaw for like 20, 30 minutes, cutting wood, stacking wood and cutting again. These things are incredible. And I'm able to charge them with the same charger as on that small battery pack. I keep these around cause they're working my drill for just a minute.
but uh, let me get this thing, see if it'll fit in here. Maybe it will. I guess this is to keep the water off. Yeah, it's gonna fit. Famous last words. Yeah, looks, so it looks like, this is a six amp hour, so you may put a larger one in here if you wanted to. That works. Take my lid off my my water here. My backup to a backup to a backup water. And let's get this thing. Oh, it did fit good. So it is somewhat heavy. I'd guess. I don't know, 10 pounds with the battery in it. I was able to put the turbo up here on top with the other fittings. And I was told it's got like two speeds high and low here. So I'm gonna get to messing with it and play with it. And I'll, I'll come back. Now that's fairly impressive. You're able to get away from your water or chemical. What's that, 15 feet? Maybe 20? I didn't measure it. Killer Moe's got a little dust on him. So pull the trigger, it's got to build, it's got to prime itself, still priming. Now the motor is running on Bigfoot right here, charging up my battery while the guy's working on it. There's your switches high and low right here. Still hitting prime. The priming problem was my fault. I didn't, so I didn't have this tight. This was not, this wasn't tight, and that wasn't tight, causing it to draw air instead of water. Uh-oh. Now we're doing something. I like my tips going straight up and down. There you go. Good to keep the chain clean so you can keep it oiled. That's probably about the pressure that I would clean off uh, a shingle roof after I put chemicals on it. I guess that would keep a motorcycle clean. I took the green tip off, put on the yellow tip, a little bit more aggressive. More pressure, less, less water, I guess. Killer Moe's getting a bath in the desert. Now I I don't uh, I don't plan on using the what they call it the foamer soap attachment because uh, Killer Moe uh, washed it the other day at the car wash like yesterday so. Uh, really truly he's just got dust on it but I am curious about how this uh, little turbo is going to work right, here goes nothing the turbo gives you a wider pattern with a stronger pressure basically you wouldn't want to use it on your RV stripes or anything that's faded like your RV, if it's got a lot of oxidation, you don't, you wouldn't want to use the turbo. It leaves marks on it when it dries. You'll never get them out. We won't get the oxidation evenly. That's not too shabby. Before we go, I'm going to run the white tip. A really wide pattern.
Not bad. Unit's kind of heavy after a minute. I'm sure how much water I've used. A gallon a minute. I don't know how many minutes I've had going here. But yeah, put you some pre-soak on here, some soap. And you get after it. So yeah, that'll keep the dust knocked off your vehicles, off your RV. Might have to get out your brush and do a little elbow, use a little elbow grease. There you go. I just picked up the bucket there. I say I used about half of it, three, three and a half gallons. I was able to get the get killer mow here, looking all right. Not perfect, but uh, not bad either. So. Uh, DeWalt didn't pay me to uh, to do this test for them. They didn't send. To, I paid for it. The best price I could find on eBay, I think I paid about 140, 142, 345, uh, getting it shipped down here to Quartzsite, and it got here in three days. So, uh, yeah, I think it'll come in handy with my arsenal of uh, DeWalt tools. But uh, yeah. I'm glad I bought it. Might be something you want to see if uh, you could use around your campsite or your house. Like if you have vinyl siding, vinyl siding does not require uh, a lot of pressure to clean it to get mildew off. So uh, a lot of uses for it. Okay, well that makes today's video. So I'm gonna end this one. Where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon, and you guys take care. And as always, I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my Savior. See you next time. Bye.